So Habs fans love KK. Yes, Barry Kotkaniemi, right? I mean, like, this is not news to you guys. He is beloved in the city of Montreal. More KK the person than KK the player, from what I can understand here. And I love him too. He's a great guy. He's kind of shy, but he can be funny. He says mint all the time, right? He's awesome. I love KK. But as a player, he has been struggling lately. And you got to step back and realize that the kid's only 20 years old. So even though he's got three years of pro NHL and AHL experience, he's still only 20. He needs some time to develop. But... It's been rough, and I think they said something on the broadcast yesterday that he hasn't scored a goal in like 20 games or something like that, and he's too skilled. And and yes, again, everybody's going to throw it out every time. He needs time to develop. He's got to develop. But for a third overall pick, I hate to say it, you got to be able to produce more than that. You got to be able to put up more numbers than that as a center. And I know the comparison for him when he was drafted was Barkov. But, hey, I mean, even Barkov in his first few years, he struggled a bit, but he was putting up better numbers than this. So, that's not what this video is about, but I'm just saying, the whole Jesperi Kotkaniemi thing, he does need time to develop. I do still think he's going to be a good player, but I'm wondering where Montreal fans' heads are at with number 15 for Montreal. But, some juicy and maybe even some controversial news coming from Renaud Lavoie here. Let's read this tweet together. Renaud Lavoie on SN590 says he thinks Jesperi Kotkaniemi, okay, and then he, he goes in and drafted third overall, 25 spots ahead of Rasmus Sandin, will be a healthy scratch for game one of the playoffs, has three games left to show something, making mistakes and not producing. Now, that is a really hot, hot tweet with a, with a lot to unpack there. It's charged, right? And I mean... For the Habs fans, there's going to be a lot of people saying, okay, well, I mean, his confidence is extremely low right now. If you scratch him for the playoffs, he's going to lose even more confidence, and then we might have a Galchenyuk situation on our hands, right? But there's another pocket of people saying, hey, you got to win. That's all that matters in this business, win. And if he's not giving you the best chance to win, scratch him, put somebody else who's going to give you a better chance to win the games, especially against Toronto. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, Habs fans. You know it I know it but here's the thing though KK wasn't exactly having you know an amazing kumbaya happy season last year okay and then in the bubble he came to play and I know the whole team was thinking oh my gosh this is a Cinderella story we weren't meant to be here we were like the last team to be invited here our season was supposed to be over so everybody played with extra jump extra energy but at his age the fact that he put in that type of performance in the bubble it's not nothing it's very good, and I thought it was very beneficial for his development, for his growth. So, giving him another playoff run where he could be able to regain his confidence if he has a good run here. Because at the playoffs, we all know you start from zero. You start from scratch. Everything is forgotten. If you have a good playoff run, nobody's going to remember what you did in the regular season. So... To me, KK, even at 20 years old, he's going to be fired up, ready to go. Um, and again, this healthy scratch, it could hurt his confidence. It could also light a fire under him and get him going. Oh, okay, a third overall pick. You want to scratch me for game one of the playoffs? I will show you when you put me back in the lineup, you're never going to scratch me again. That could be his mentality as well, right? And that's what you're hoping if you're Duchamp and uh, the Habs coaching staff there. But I don't know. It's a really interesting topic here. There's so many different ways uh, Habs could go with this one. And what do you guys think, Habs fans? Do you think KK is going to take it the right way or take it the wrong way? Because remember, he's also just a kid still, right? And uh, I think he could be a good contributor. He's a big boy. Uh, look, he needs to improve in a lot of areas defensively, his face-offs, things like that, even his offense. I mean, he's got a really great shot. It's a shame he doesn't use it as much and as well as he should. Um, but let me know what you guys think about him in the comments down below. He's so, to me, he's the most fascinating Montreal Canadian right now, more than Caulfield, okay? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, for more videos like this, hockey every single day, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.